So today we are here at the MSI event and we're here with Andrew for MSI and he's going to be telling us the new stuff that's coming out with the new laptops. So take it away, Andrew. Right, <laughs> essentially this uh, event here we're just hosting at the brewery is just to sort of like showcase some of our latest chassis. So right here uh, we've got the GT63 VR and essentially what it's trying to do is talk about the features that we've added onto our laptops such as like, you know, really intense sort of like cooling, um, also the Himic sound. Um, and just trying to like um, speak to like end users and uh, YouTubers just on like some of the features that MSI is bringing onto their like latest range. So right here we're just sort of showcasing sort of like what Nehemic brings to a laptop and then sort of like what Nehemic is doing with VR. So in terms of like 3D sort of like surround sound and then also just having a chat about our new cooling system. Because technology as you know has like gone to the 10 series graphics cards, it's a lot more pressure, it's a lot more power in our laptops. So to sort of maintain the sort of like size difference that we've got, so for instance with the GS, it being like one of the thinnest and lightest laptops that we've got, we're here sort of like saying, right, okay, we've put all this power onto the laptop and to sort of back that power up, we've got the Cooler Boost Trinity system on it, which is essentially three uh, sort of like fans, two for the GPU, one for the CPU, which sort of offer like sort of like unparalleled cooling. So you can play like the latest games on this and it will just remain silent, quiet and cool at all times. And essentially like talking about some of like the key features that our laptops offer to end users. So that's essentially what we're doing today. Getting a lot of feedback, letting people have a go on the VR 3D surround sound, which we're bringing out. And sort of like seeing the full sort of lineup from GSs to GTs to GEs and like people to get a feeling of MSI. Sort of like highlight the fact of what we offer to end users that other vendors might not offer. And sort of like the pros and cons that we're looking at like developing. And just really cementing, I mean, I know we spoke last time in the other event, and it's just, again, cementing the fact that MSI is sort of like the leading brand for gaming laptops. We're always coming out with the new stuff, we're always coming out with something more immersive, and we like to sort of engage with end users to pick up any ideas we might not have thought about, or at least get feedback on how well we're doing. So, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> well, definitely, I've just seen you've got a Titan X, uh, is it Titan X over there? The Titan 83, yeah. Titan 83. And basically, you got it over there doing bench tests, and then I don't know what laptop you got over there, but the RGBs look really nice on the actual keyboards. And then you got a Niamic, um audio sound by, is that still Series? Uh, no, the Himic that they're showing right now. Niamic. Uh, <laughs> virtual reality. Sort of like surround sound. Yeah. So what you're talking about over there, we're showing over there the GT83, yeah. and it now comes in like fully customizable RGB backlight with new silver switches. Yeah. Um, what this basically means is more response time and obviously more customiz uh, customization for end users. Uh, also, we're also showing off the power of the GT83. It's got 1080s in SLI. So people are going in there and having a look at some of the overclocks and some of the benchmarks that we've done while also hearing the fact that, you know, we're stress testing this laptop and the cooling is still pretty decent and the sound is still pretty decent. Over there, we've got the GT73s and we're just trying to show off again power and performance by like render times, we've got some 3D models there. People are like having a look and saying, right, okay, it's a pretty bit of, uh, you know, complex bit of 3D geometry there. Let's see how fast it renders. And while we're doing that, we can stress test it again. Let's have a look at the cooling of the laptop. And then we sort of like go down to the GEs and the GSs. So we're just trying to show people the differences between our sort of like entry level laptops, mid range, sort of like GSs where you've got a, bit, a mixture of performance and portability. GTs where it's all about performance, all about hitting those benchmarks. So that's what we're sort of showing here today, yeah. And then obviously our partnership with VR. Right. So these are over here, these are affordable entry level laptops. Not really, the, the GS here, this is sort of like, like I mentioned, the sort of like performance and portability. GS43 is here. In terms of like entry level, what we're trying to show like the sort of like laptops that people want, you know, to buy, 
play games on at a high setting while also not breaking the bank. <laughs> then you've got the GEs. Right, so are they the affordable ones then? Yeah. Right, okay. So there are more entry level ones. But also trying to say, listen, just because it's affordable doesn't mean it's not good. Yeah. It's still got all the features and, and more than what you'd expect of a laptop of similar sort of like price points and stuff like that. So yeah. Right, because I want to. Most people want to know like how they can get an affordable laptop that can game. It could do a bit of video editing, probably a bit of uh, being a music engineer and all that sort of stuff. So, what kind of price point are we looking at, and what kind of graphics card is in the starting range? So, starting range would be GLGP, which we don't have here at the moment, yeah. and you're looking at entry level price points there that we see in our sort of like retail partners, starting from six nine nine to seven nine nine to eight nine nine. When you start going into the GE, and that's with the 1050, the NVIDIA's latest 1050 cards, um, which we're showcasing here as well. Um, when you start going a little bit higher, you've got GEs, which get into the 1060 series. Uh, price points there, you're looking at like 899, 999, 1099. And then it, it pretty much, we scale through the entire range. So one key thing about MSI is we have quite an extensive list of chassis. So we hit all the sort of price points that you'd want. So if it's a case of, right, I want it for gaming, but I have a budget of this much, then we offer that solution. So, okay. so when are these all um, ready to release? The affordable one? They're all ready now. Go and get it now. They're all ready now. All tested now and um, just trying out all the new features. Um, we've also showcasing um, the latest sort of like 1050 Ti's. So people can go there right now, have a play with it and, and sort of experience it and see, right, okay, if if I can play this game at high settings, this is MSI's entry level. Yeah. So if, if at MSI's entry level I can play, let's say, Overwatch on high or on ultra, well then look what you can do on the higher end stuff. And it's again, like I say, cementing the fact that we, you know, we're the number one brand for like gaming laptops. We love working with our end users and we're always sort of like pushing the boundaries of like new technology. So coupled with that, that's what we're here today, showcasing it to yourselves, getting your feedback as well, and um, just, you know, having a good time in the time. <laughs> Well, I can tell you my feedback straight away. There's some very nice laptops over there, some very expensive ones, some very entry-level ones, but even the entry-level ones are like nice and small and light, and it's basically you can put, do your gaming, your video editing, and you're not breaking the bank, and then you can break the bank if you choose to. So, uh, yeah, I'm Roger from Maxdale, and this is Andrew from MSI. Thanks. <laughs>